Now let's shift focus to France. The country saw another round of protests yesterday. Protests against President Emmanuel Macron's new pension law. This was the 14th mass protest against the law. It came ahead of a parliamentary debate set to take place tomorrow. Opposition parties are going to try and strike down this pension law. Yesterday's protests were supposed to be a show of strength, but that strength seems to be wavering. The turnout was the lowest since these protests began. This is according to both the protest organizers and government officials. So has Macron finally won? Has the protest movement run out of steam or is something else on the cards? Here's our report. Thousands of people took to the streets of Paris once again. This time too, they were protesting against France's new pension law. Like in previous protests, things were set on fire. Clashes took place with the French police, while police resorted to tear gas to disperse the protesters. Some remained defiant. We must not give up. We must demonstrate, because if we give up, at the moment the government does everything and anything. They're going to pass laws and then they'll say, yes, there's nothing more to be done. Yes, they've already voted. What's to be done? And like that, we're going to let things slide. No, we have a right. We have to demonstrate. We always have to demand. You have to see things through to the end. President Emmanuel Macron has raised the French retirement age from 62 to 64 years. He said it was necessary that the French Treasury could not support the growing pension costs. But the people weren't on board. Because of his new law, Macron has been under pressure for months. People have accused him of ramming the law through without following due process, which is true. He used an emergency measure to pass the law when he saw Parliament would not agree. This was in April. The autocratic move had enraged the French public. The reform has passed, but it still hasn't been accepted by the people. It never has, nor by the Parliament. There was a vote aiming to block it, but it didn't succeed. But it's different from a vote to make it pass. The reform passed without our democracy, so it's important to make the government understand that we never wanted this reform, and that it's time that the people speak, because it shows that the government doesn't care more and more about people's will. And so it's important that we take the power back on that level. Over 782,000 people had demonstrated against Macron's diktat on the 1st of May. Those are the government's official figures. Protest organizers had claimed that the real number was three times as much. But yesterday's protests seemed subdued in comparison. The government says only 281,000 people came out to protest. Even the protest organizers say the turnout was low. So does this mean that the protests are winding down? Well, there are some people who are steadfast. I'm here for the 14th time. I've taken days off work. I've lost a lot of money, but I'm here and I'll always be here. Some others blame external factors for the low turnout, like the summer. They say the protests will pick up again once the weather improves. We know very well that they're going to do the same thing to us. It's summer, so there'll be far fewer mobilizations. We're getting ready to organize ourselves for the autumn. Some seem more pessimistic, especially about tomorrow's parliamentary motion. The reform has passed, but it still hasn't been accepted by the people. It never has, nor by the parliament. There was a vote aiming to block it, but it didn't succeed. But it's different from a vote to make it pass. The reform passed without our democracy, so it's important to make the government understand that we never wanted this reform, and that it's time that the people speak, because it shows that the government doesn't care more and more about people's will. And so it's important that we take the power back on that level. The opposition has sponsored a motion to cancel the minimum pension age increase. They will try and repeal Macron's pension law. But it's unlikely that they'll succeed. Why? Because of a catch. Lawmakers cannot pass legislation that weighs on public finances without measures to offset those costs. 
so the repeal attempt might get thrown out. But the motion and the protests on the street will succeed in one thing, reminding Macron that the road ahead will continue to be rough.